Yo, yo, it's your main man, Wing Drops. This is California Wet Burrito here near SJSU. I'm we'll gonna be trying their wet burrito here. I got a super burrito with al pastor and their Diablo sauce. Um, I've always been a big fan of wet burritos. Um, my go to place is called Santa Fe. Shout out to Josh. Um, that place has some pretty good wet burritos. But this place has wet burrito in its name, so very excited to see how good this is. I got it with the Diablo sauce, which is the second most uh, spiciest sauce on the menu. So it could, it could be pretty, pretty brutal. Shout out to Mount Diablo. All right, let's get into it. There's like a, the, the, a whole bunch of this dark colored red, dark red chili sauce. And you got, I'm pretty sure, sour cream drizzled on top. Let's get into it. That sauce is really good. It's like that typical Mexican chili sauce where it's like, you can definitely taste the slight bitterness of the chili, but then it's really spicy. And then, um, I don't know, describe it, it's just delicious. The burrito itself, good quality. You get the super, it comes with cheese and rice and everything. Um, I didn't get much meat in that bite, but I found a piece of meat here. Let's just try the al pastor. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I think this is better than um, Santa Fe. Just because the sauce is really like authentic and spicy and chili flavored. It's really good. And you just have the oozing cheese everywhere. And the portion size is, you know, pretty big, as you would expect. Um, I would probably prefer a little bit if they added some like pico de gallo on, on top. A little bit of the chopped uh, tomatoes and salsa or whatever, just to kind of like counterbalance the how much how spicy the sauce is. But that's just a personal nitpick. Overall, I think it's pretty good. I'd give it a four out of five. Um, probably the best wet burrito I ever tried. But to be fair, I've only tried like two, so that's that's that. Um, I'm here with Jeff. What do you think about uh, your burrito here? It's good. I wish I wish I had avocado. Oh like, yeah, it didn't come with I avocado. Like yeah, mine didn't come with avocado but, either. I mean, I just like this place mm -hmm. just because uh, it's way better than the Vix. Yeah, the Vix is always packed. Well, yeah, this place isn't too busy. It's ne yeah, we barely waited for anything, and then they gave you this uh, green sauce. How is that? Oh, uh, solid. Does its job. But yeah, kind of the where I wish there was more like veggies in here. Mm -hmm. It's mostly just the meat and rice. I see. Yeah. Yeah, La Vix is always packed. So if you're in the downtown area near SGSU, this is definitely uh, a solid option. Um, and I don't believe La Vix has wet burritos. I'd have to go back. I haven't been there in like two or three years. So I think the last time I went was at Fanime, which, you know, COVID has kind of canceled that. It's actually going to be Fanime Weekend in like a week, but it's all online this year, so I'm lucky. Alright, I'm your main man. This is California Wet Burrito. We're done here. Bide your time and hold out hope.